Hey guys, this is Daniel from BricksForge and in this video I want to show you some new features for the BricksForge version 095. First of all, the BricksForge terminal, to extend bricks with a command line that allows you to create multiple global classes for elements at once or to create complete element structures in Emmet style. We introduce you the new backend designer. Now you can design the login area and the admin area for your clients. One useful feature will be to use a Bricks template to design the WordPress dashboard. Another cool feature will be the automatic detection of all CSS variables of your global classes sets. This will allow you to edit the values via visual fields without touching the code. One useful feature here is the CSS claim generator that is included out of the box. Let's start with the Bricks Watch terminal. You can open the terminal by pressing the icon or just using the shortcut Ctrl T. I will show you some examples for the syntax. To add elements, use the angle bracket and the name of the element. For example, bracket container. And you see a container has been added. If you want to create an element inside an existing one, select the existing one first and then run the command in the terminal. Now the new element will be created inside your selected one. Of course, you can also create nested elements. Just repeat the input. Each bracket will go one level deeper. Check this. Great. If you need to create more than one of the same element, you can do it like that. And if you want to create elements on the same layer, you can use the plus sign. Then they will be added as siblings. But you can do even more. With the terminal it will be possible to create multiple classes at once for your elements. The syntax is very easy. Enter. Done. Have fun working faster with the BricksForge terminal. By the way, in our documentation you can find some written examples for the syntax. Let's continue with the backend designer. You now have the possibility to design the WordPress backend very easily. I don't have to explain much about how it works. I just will show you in time lapse how such a result could look like. Yeah, we gave WordPress a new look in a very short time. It was also important to us that the performance remains the same. Therefore, we have limited ourselves only to CSS adjustments and avoided more bloated things. But of course, there are also functions included which allows you for example to change the WordPress footer information and the basic logos. You can also customize the admin area. And it's impressive to see how much you can change the WordPress backend design with a few clicks. And you can design the login area as well. Let's talk about global classes and the new variable detection. From now on BricksForge will detect all CSS variables that are included in your code. Then you won't have to change the values via the code, but you will get visual fields to work with. When we change the value in a field, it will be automatically updated in your code. Isn't that impressive? By the way, for the color values you can also specify the format. For fonts, you will have a CSS clamp generator to define your font sizes so that they look good on all devices. You can automatically include the calculated value in your selected variable and of course it will be included in the code. Let's talk about a few more things. In the panel you can now duplicate relevant content. For example events, event actions, timelines and animations. Also from the new version you can import and export content. For example animations that you want to share with others. 
the GSAP Scroll Smoother has been updated to the latest version. Now there is an additional option speed. Also, you now have the possibility to export all your BricksForge settings to use them in the same way on another website, including the data from the panel. Yeah, that was a small overview of the new features. Have fun trying them out.